welcome to Book Critiques with Kate. I'm your host, Caitlin. In today's show, I'm going to cover the book Matched by Ali Condi. I'll begin with a brief overview of the most prominent characters and give a shortened version of the book's plot. I will add in my personal opinion on the overall book and what impression the characters left on me as I go along through this episode. Finally, I will move on to my last topic and discuss why Matched has been rated so poorly since its publication in 2010. So to begin, I will read a little summary of the plot from the author's website called matchedbook.com. In this society, officials decide who you love, where you work, when you die. Kasha has always trusted their choices. It's hardly any price to pay for a long life, the perfect job, and the ideal mate. So when her best friend appears on the matching screen, Kasha knows with complete certainty that he is the one, until she sees another face flash for an instant before the screen fades to black. Now Kasha is faced with the impossible choice between Xander and Kai, between the only life she's known and a path no one else has ever dared follow, between perfection and passion. So to give a little more backstory, Kasha is attending her matching ceremony on her 17th birthday. This is where she'll find out who she will marry and spend the rest of her life with. When two faces appear on the screen, it sends her into a panic because everyone only has one match. The rest of the novel takes readers into Kasha's thought process behind choosing to live within the society's rules or to break free from their control. In this society that they live in, there is 100 of everything. 100 poems, songs, movies, and books. Your job, your house, your spouse, and however many kids you have is all decided for you. As Kasha gets to know Kai better, she starts to question why there is only 100 of everything. Personally, I didn't really think that this was a memorable book. In middle school, I read all three of the matched trilogy books, but none of the characters stood out to me. The plot was not intricate at all, and it was a little slow. And I can't say that I remember too many details from the storyline. Something interesting that I found when I was researching for this review was how low this book was rated, especially on Goodreads. Since its publication in 2010, Matched has rated almost three and a half stars, but it's the reviews and what people said that caught my eye. Some readers say that they've read too many books like this with the same plot, and some people suggest that Ali Condi ripped off Lois Lowry and The Giver with the dystopian fantasy theme. And again, others thought that it was just bland and didn't bring anything new to the table as far as the book's plot goes. One review that I agreed with was written by Wendy Darling on Goodreads.com. They said, I like this well enough, but feel that it's a little slight in plot and structure. I also wasn't enthralled by any of the main characters. Overall, it's a quick, entertaining read, but not a particularly deep or memorable one. This is one of those rare occasions when the film might actually be better than the book. I agree with pretty much everything that they say. I was initially drawn to the book because of the pretty cover art, and as a young reader, I just decided to keep reading the trilogy because I enjoyed reading. I can't say, however, that I will ever reread the books in the future. So, to wrap everything up, Matched is a young adult dystopian fantasy set in a controlling society. The characters are not very memorable, and it's a quick read with a little bit of fleeting entertainment. Thank you for tuning in this week. If you liked this content, please like and share this video. And remember to subscribe to NWTV7 for future episodes. Have a good day, everyone.